Hi, I'm Joshua Finn from JMH Aerospace. Today we are going to build the Senior Flyer ROG, which is for Technology Student Association Flight Endurance. This is the rise off ground version of, of the aircraft, sized uh, to maximize your um, performance available under the rules. So, um, let's go ahead and get started to see what's in the kit. So you're going to have a couple of uh, sets of um, heavy grade balsa, and those are not for the airplane itself, they're for your covering frame. So you have two of these long pieces like this. Make sure there we go. So you've got these two long pieces, you've got two, uh, three smaller ones. Then you've got this bundle of sticks, these are your wing spars, uh, landing gear posts, and so on. You got this uh, sheet of fairly heavy wood right here. Um, split up. These are going to be your motor sticks. You've got parts for uh, for up to three airplanes. Tail booms, uh, same scenario. So this is three sixteenth balsa. These are three thirty second balsa. This is your parts sheet with your. Um, with your wing ribs, stab ribs, wheels, um, wing saddles. Uh, this one only has one, yours will have three of, of each of these. And then you have two sets of wing tips. And you'll have two of these big pieces. These are your wing template uh, and stab template. We'll show you how to assemble those here in a bit. This is a roll of plastic covering film for covering your airplane. And then you'll have three uh, Icara propellers. These you will have to trim down to size. They're too big for uh, rules. You have a bundle of 332nd inch rubber, a piece of uh, clay nose weight, and then you've got the little baggie over here. Inside the baggie, Actually, somewhere in here. Here we go. It got away from me. Keep a close eye out for this piece. This is a piece of O20 wire that you're going to make your uh, uh, landing gear axles and prop shaft and rear hook out of. The one in your kit will be longer than this one. All right, so inside the baggie is a piece of uh, spider wire for binding um, the tail hook, the rear hook and the uh, prop bearing to the motor stick. Uh, this is this is a piece of peak tubing. Yours should include polyamide, which will be a, uh, a dark color, uh, kind of a uh, dark brown, brownish red. Uh, this is for your wing tubes and your stab tubes. And you'll have a fairly thick, clear, uh, translucent piece right here. Uh, this is for making your O-rings. Um, depending on current rules and interpretations, you may just have a baggie of a whole bunch of little black O-rings instead of this. So. Um, keep that in mind. Um, this is a piece of Teflon tubing that you'll use to make prop washers. And then I only have one shown right here. If you can see this piece. This is your prop bearing. Your kit should have three of those. If it doesn't, let me know. And then you'll have a piece of aluminum tubing. You're going to use this to make your wheel axe, uh, uh, not axles, bushings out of. So those are all your parts. Um, let's set some things aside, clear the space here, and we'll get started. So we have our wing form here because we're about to start building the wing. So before you can build the wing, you need a uh, you need to get started on the uh, forms here. Get out a fresh razor blade. Um, if you have a, a double blade that you can snap to a point, that's even better. Um, that's not what I have here available to me though. Go ahead and snap this thing loose. I made this one out of fairly heavy balsa, so it's a little bit uncooperative here. We'll just set the scraps away. Don't throw away all that scrap balsa. Sometimes it comes in handy for making little parts that uh, get broken, or if you need a shim here or there, always useful to hang on to it. Um, 
balsa is fairly expensive, so we can't include a whole lot of extra in your, your kits. So save everything. be back after I get done snapping. Okay, now that you've got um, both of these pieces broken out of here, we just slip them together and they line up. If you're, uh, if you're careful here, it should line up perfectly. So then we're going to take some CA glue and use other glues if you want to, but CA gets the job done quick. And so I kind of like it for this particular task right here. There, there we go. So. This is CA kicker accelerator, whatever you want to call it. All right, so that's a symbol. Now, what you're going to do is you've got these uh, balsa strips over here. And so what you want to do is take two of those and clean up uh, any flashing on the ends here, like so. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to set the length of the wing by laying these flush against this side. You see I'm using the razor blade just to kind of line them up. And then, I'm going to come over here to the other end of this um, wing form. You kind of line them up where it hooks, hooks around right here, right here, so they're straight across parallel. And we're going to cut these off exactly flush with the end over here, just like so. Now, what you want to do, and I failed to do, is have, um, so I'm just going to very, very lightly score these right here at the middle, but you should mark that for uh, where the middle of the wing goes. The reason is, we're going to come out here and we want to center that uh, that mark across there and you can use a ruler to do that um, because what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of tape maybe we're going to take a piece of tape, I don't know, this one's being stubborn we're going to take, tape this wing spar on And what you want to do is secure it across, all the way across, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we'll be right back once I've got that done. Okay, we have both the front and rear wing spars. Doesn't matter which one's which, um, you'll specify here in the next step. Um, but we've got them secured with tape at regular intervals. So what you're going to come in here and do is click out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ribs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just pull out that many. You've got a few extra in here um, in case you break one, but be, take care not to do so. Um, Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to separate all of these ribs. Now take a um, another glue, kind of like this is um, Sigment um, 
Duco, you can get it at, at hardware stores, is, is good. Um, there's a, oh, what is it? I think it's Yuhu Heart is the um, European glue that's, that's like this. Um, or you can take like Elmer's wood glue. Um, those will all work for this task. Uh, you can use super glue, but you have to work really quick. Um, so I don't really recommend it for this task. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue my center rib here. You want to get it lined up with those center line marks that you put in there. And then this is why you have wax paper out because the glue just starts spilling out. Now this tip rib is particularly important. You want it to be, um, let me show you here, you want it to be straight up and down. Now, one other thing um, that you want to pay attention to is these ribs have sharper curvature at the front than at the back, so you want them all oriented the same way. So we'll be right back when I get all that done. So we have all of the ribs in now. We have, if you look, you can see you've got the sharper curvature up here, so this is now the leading edge of the wing. Um, so they're all in, and now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these gussets, you want four of these, these little triangles. So I'm going to cut out four of them, and we're going to put those at the corners of um, the, the end ribs on the wing. I'm going to make sure to include plenty of these for you because there are several places on this airplane where you'll use them. There are several other places where they'll be nice to use. So what you're going to do is try not to make a huge mess here, but do it anyway. And then we're going to stick these over here in the corner. You can kind of put them flush with the top of the uh, wing spar and the um, wing rib. And so just repeat this for all of the corners and then you'll be done. And I'll be back after I've got the other two in. Okay, we've finished our wing here. Um, as far as the, the structural assembly, put the wing tips on after coverings. So don't, we don't want to attach them right now. Now you should let this wing sit for a good half an hour to an hour before you disturb it. Um, mine has not sat for even half that long, so um, all I'm going to do is gently take it off here and then we'll, uh, we'll talk about it. So what you want to do is go around the full length of the wing and untape it like so, maybe. Come on off of there. I'll be right back once I've got the rest of it off. Okay, so once all the tape is off, the wing just slides right off the form. There you go. So we're going to set this wing aside. Now we're going to make the tail, horizontal stabilizer to be specific. So this has squared ends right here, so we'll use those. So the way you cut the uh, stab ribs to length is that for them, you stop two notches short of the end. So at this notch right here, you line up the razor blade across here, and Boom. Save these sticks for your wing posts. And then we'll repeat the same procedure, except we're going to center across here, like so. You can see, you can see where I'm ending it. I'm ending it one bay in from the, the tips on each side. So I'll be right back once this is all taped in. Okay, so we've got the stab secured here. We're going to pop out 
seven of these uh, stab ribs, so they're the, the skinny ones over here. And then we will quickly separate all of these. Now, keep these all oriented the same way, and the reason is they have very, very little curvature, so you want to keep them facing that way. The other thing is you notice these are very, very skinny in the vertical uh, direction, so mount them flush with the top of your spars. And I'll give you a close-up of that here in just a second. The glue is going to spill on the table, so I might as well just make myself several puddles of it. The will be dry before I get to it. The oh well. And maybe there we go. So you'll notice two things. One is since these aren't curved very much, they tend to lie down on the uh, center section here. But we've got them more or less flush on the top. And so we're just going to repeat that same procedure all the way across, just like with the wing. Okay, so at this point we have the, the stab completely done. We've put the gussets at the corners. We've got all the ribs in. Gussets. There we go. There we go. So, set that aside to dry, and then you can take it off the frame and look at it and admire it. Don't put the tip rudders on it yet. We'll do that after it's covered.